be entirely merciful, the especially merciful. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and in this video I am going to show you how to use USAS or UCREL semantic analysis system which is simply called USAS semantic tag and how to download its semantic tag set and a brief introduction to category system of USAS. So let's open you just have to write USAS semantic tagger in the internet and here is this link UCREL semantic analysis system you have to click on this link I will provide you in the, dis in the description as well so after opening uh, let's see a few things so here is USAS homepage and then you can use English tagger Dutch tagger, Chinese tagger, Italian tagger, Portuguese tagger and Spanish tagger as well. And here is the visual representation that for example A mean general and abstract terms. So and then B the body and the individual then W word and in environment and then X and then a to Z and each of this tag has further categories like A1, A1.1, A1.2 and I am going to show you this. So here in uh, in the second uh, paragraph uh, you can see this link introduction to USAS category system. So click on this and there will be a file you have to download and now I am going to open it. So here is this file introduction to USAS category system. So it will tell you about semantic tags, the lexicon, then multi word unit list. So and this is uh, the main thing the tag set. So the semantic tags are composed of an uppercase letter. So it will be always like in a1 and A is in the uppercase and then the word or A1.1 G1.1 G1 G2 like this digit indicating of a subdivision so it will be A1 or if the word is a subdivision of a tagger so it will be A1.1.1 uh, similarly a decimal point and then pulses or minuses let me show you the example and these are the other symbols for example f for female m for male as because uh, this is a semantic tagger so it use all the semantic uh, senses uh, and i have also uploaded videos on semantic you can watch these videos although these are in urdu uh, but uh, but you can read the slides or the description uh, similarly uh, here you can find the signs like plus or minus so these will indicate uh, the degree comparatives and superlative degrees so for example uh, we have uh, this word admiral and uh, there are one two three four five so there are five uh, tags to this word G3, M4, S2 and MF mean male or female then S7.1 then S2 male or female uh, for example uh, if we consider before going to th these tags uh, what could be the possible senses of admiral first is uh, the admiral would be a male or female uh, secondly it is related to warfare weapons third uh, it also related to water because uh, this word is also used in navy so maybe the transportation of weapons in water submarines and like this so these could be the three possible uh, senses of this word admiral so let's see uh, one two three four and five tags have been given to this five tags mean uh, actually these are uh, only we should say four because s2mf or this s2mf are same so let's see uh, 
does uh, this tagger has tagged this word according to th these senses which we are thinking so go further down here here again is the visual representation and if we uh, could see m is for movement location travel and transport and one of the uh, that tags was i i think m4 or m3 so uh, it is used for transport so uh, i think this sense is correct because when weapons are uh, you can say transported so m4 therefore this is used and uh, if you look at the s2 or s7 i think so these are the social action states and process similar uh, so surely admiral is also a social action admiral is also performing a social action uh, then uh, there was also the g so government or public so surely uh, the forces are the part of government or under the government so uh, these are the detailed descriptions of each of the tag for example a1 is general so all general entities so all these words which are related to these words which are similar to these words and have these semantic senses so they will be tagged to a1.1.1 and then there is the further categorization so let move to g3 first because we have to look which tag was given to admiral so first semantic sense is correct warfare defense and army uh, then if we go to m4 so m4 is for means of transport and especially water so you could see how uh, i should say how much comprehensive uh, this tagger is uh, you can see this is also the transport but the m3 is for land and m4 is for water so very you can say very quiet and very comprehensive and very near and very broad distinction i should say in semantic tags and if we go further down then s2 we have to find so i apologize for a bit long video so this is as two so people uh, admiral must be a people a human as 2.1 was also the, uh, given to admiral so admiral could be a female or could be a male so in this way uh, this uh, software uh, usa semantic tagger which is online it will take tag your data uh, now let's see a few things if you uh, come to the third paragraph so you can see the the full tag set is available online in plain text when you click on this you would find all these tags in plain text and then surely you can copy like this all of these tags or just control a press control a control c and then open a notepad file or any of the file and save it and the other thing is to download these tags in a pdf format so download this file and open and now you could see it in pdf file and i have also told you in one of the video and file converter that how to convert uh, a pdf file into plain text because for corpus purposes uh, your file should be in text format uh, similarly there is uh, also russian tag set usa semantic tag set in russian and here is the visual representation and actually this is the lancaster uh, lancaster model of semantic tags so these are the few uh, these are a few linguists who tried to do the visual representation like this so now let's move to the practical work uh, in the last uh, you can see english semantic tagger online so you have to click on this uh, now here there are a few limitations 
you can enter up to 100,000 words or you can say 1 lakh words and if you enter more it will be cut off uh, but if you want to to run the full amount you will need a fast interconnection it means if you have more than 100,000 words in your file and you want to tag all these uh, words uh, at once so you must have a fast internet connection now select output style horizontal vertical or pseudo xml pseudo xml is used when you want to tag your data both in uh, semantic form and in POS form parts of speech, which is the class tagger which is not uh, working nowadays so because class tagger is solely for parts of speech purposes and it tags according to parts of speech and USAS tags according to uh, semantics but if you select this format pseudo XML then it will tag in both so let me select horizontal and write what is your name and then press the button tag text now now in this way your data ha will be tagged what is given z8 is, is given a3 plus so you can see in the introduction guide what are these tags and then you simply just copy it by control C or right click and then copy and paste it in your file uh, now if I want to tag the same uh, data in vertical form so once again I have to select vertical and tag text now so in this way sorry in this way it will tag our data according to vertical form and if I click uh, click on sudo xml and then press tag text now so in this way now you can see vbz which is a POS tagger parts of speech tagger so now in this way it has tagged your data both semantically and both parts of speech and I think it is uh, the good way when clause tagger is not working a DDQ or you can also tag with tag ant but uh, clause tagger is more comprehensible so uh, it is a good idea now similarly if I want to tag a big file so I am just selecting a few lines because it, it will take time if I select more uh, it, it is the same file I used in the tutorials of AntConc now paste it here tag text now and it will be tagged in a few moments so here is this and this is in sudo xml format and sudo xml format is used when you want to tag your data both in POS form and both in semantic form so this is all about USAS semantic tagger which you can also be used to tag your data according to parts of speech as well so I hope you would have understood it and once again I am really apologize for being very long video don't forget to give your feedback if you want me to make a few other videos regarding any other corpus tutorials uh, corpus softwares so let me know and let me give your comments in comments box so i would come to know what do you want remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you